It's time to build, arguably, the world's biggest butter phone. Hey everyone, Josh and Kat from Kaboom here. Our most popular video for last year was our Disney medley on plastic bottles, which looked like this. And we had so much fun making that one that we thought we would make a new one with even more bottles and, and even, even more, more Josh. medleys and more Josh. <laughs> So let's take a look at how we built it and answer some of your most common questions. Hmm. The main question we definitely get is how does it work? And the answer is air pressure. Very simply, the more pressure in the bottle, the higher the pitch. So if you look closely at the bottle, you'll see it has a valve poking through the lid. And that is the secret to getting different amounts of pressure and therefore different notes out of each bottle. The valves we use are called TR414s. They look like this. We got them from eBay in a pack of about 100 and they were pretty cheap. So we start by making a little pilot hole and then just increase the size of that hole and constantly check whether the bike valve will actually fit through it and keep going until it just squeezes in. If the hole is too small, then of course the bike valve won't fit. And if it's too large, then you'll get some air leaking out. This lid is no good. Recently, we've started super gluing the lids too. So we put a little bit of glue right around where the seal is, just in case there's any micro leaks of air. And we found that this is pretty helpful. Now you'll see in the video that we use a few different sized bottles. And here are the specific ones that we use. Our treble bottles are 600 ml Coke bottles. Our mid-range bottles are 1.25 liter Woolworths brand soda water bottles. And our base bottles are two liter Coke bottles. Coke Zero, Diet Coke, full strength, it doesn't matter. Now the reason that we use these specific bottles is because we found that they gave us the best tone. Now as an example, let's compare the 1.25 litre soda water bottle that we use with a 1.25 litre Pepsi bottle, which we don't use. Now for both of these, we've pumped them up to 20 PSI and have a listen to the different sounds. Isn't that crazy? So with two bottles of the same size, with the same amount of pressure, they sound completely different. So making mallets for the bottle phone can be quite tricky because you need something that's both going to project and that is going to have a nice tone. The mallets we used for our first video were these four and a half mil knitting needles that we just wrapped a bit of tape around the ends. And then we made these wrist straps out of some fabric so that even when we dropped them, they wouldn't fall off. But for this video, we tried something different. We tried to emulate a cymbalom mallet. Now the cymbalom is the Hungarian dulcimer. It looks like an inside out piano and it looks like this. And to play it, we use a wooden mallet which is wrapped with a cotton wool head. So we decided to wrap our knitting needles in a similar way. You take a small amount of cotton wool, wrap it around the head of the mallet, and then tie it down tightly with some cotton thread. I tie two knots at the base, then take the thread to the top, and then wrap it all the way down slowly, slowly, slowly until you get back to the base and then tie it off again. So this is our Mark 1 mallet and this is our Mark 2. And here's what they sound like. So the Mark 2 definitely has less of that click sound, but the Mark 1 I think rings for a little bit longer. So it's always a battle between tone and projection. We mount our bottles using two steel rods and lots of elastic bands. The rods are from the hardware store. They only cost a couple of dollars each. So all we had to do was take a doubled up elastic band on either side of the bottle, then stretch it over the lid until the bottle is secure. So this means that you can easily move the bottles around or take some off or add some if you need to. The tricky thing about this instrument is keeping it in tune. So you'll wanna have a good bicycle pump, one which has a release valve so that you don't have to keep disconnecting it to let the air out. They do change a bit depending on the weather. So if it's hotter, we'll find they go a bit sharp. And if it gets really cold, they might go flat. So generally we'll have to tune them before each performance, but we find the bottles in the middle range tend to stay pretty in tune. For us, we're usually tuning bottles that are slightly out of tune. And so this will take maybe 10 minutes to get them back into tune. If you're starting from some bottles that are nowhere near it, it's probably more like 20 minutes. Now overall, building this extra bass octave was really cool. It was good fun and really nice to test the boundaries of what we can do with this thing. But I do have to say, it's a real challenge to keep in tune. Because the pressure in the bottles is so low, with one tiny push of the pump, you can send the pitch up maybe a semitone. So it's pretty tricky to get them exactly in tune. And once they're there, they don't hold for very long. When we were filming our video, we probably had to retune them about every 10 minutes or so. 
So while we did love having those extra notes, and I'm sure we'll keep using them for our videos, they're a real pain. So if I was gonna recommend the ultimate reliable range for these kind of bottles, I would say from about C4, which is middle C, and going up to about E6, which is just over two octaves above. For our usual setup, we go up to G6, but we find that the F, the F sharp, and the G are really hard to keep in tune. And because there is a lot of pressure in these top bottles, around 70 PSI, we've found that we've had to replace some of the lids because they've started to warp. So what do you think? Will you make one? If you do, please send us a photo or a video. We love seeing these. We've already been sent a bunch of videos from people around the world who've had a go at making them and they sound really cool. Now, even though we didn't invent this instrument ourselves, we love that it's becoming more and more popular. So if you do make one, or if you have any questions about making one, please get in touch. We're always very happy to hear from people all around the world who are building awesome instruments. As always, a huge thanks to our very generous Patreon supporters. If you would like to join our Patreon family, you can click the link here. We hope you enjoyed taking a closer look at our new and improved bottle phone, and we hope you enjoyed our Disney medley too. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time. Bye.